Hi Taurus, Siberia from Cats and Cards. I'm using calcite. Calcite is blood pressure and bone regulation. Calcite also is with the crown chakra. It's of the element storm. Let's get out some general energies for your weekend messages, Taurus. Ooh, let's see what's going on here. All right, so we have the Ten of Cups here. You're overcoming some type of despair or you're coming out of like an emotional upset. You have Scorpio energy here. Tuesday could be a significant day for you. Well, I'm, getting, I'm, I'm getting that song, Tuesday's Gone Again. So it's like you're, you're creating a mental space where like you're strong. You feel like you're overcoming lessons over the next week. You're going to be like your mental acuity is sharp. Your psyche is on point. Look at this Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo. Oh, you're so high vibe. You are shining too, riding off on your horse with this high vibe energy. Okay, so these are the energies coming in over the weekend consummate hostess so you may be hosting friends or friends want to get together with you i feel like you guys could be talking about spiritual things let me get the kipper out here you hanging out with your spiritual friends okay so spirit says we don't need that part of the deck the living room see i feel like this is an invite um luck or blessings or taking a risk could be um significant this weekend jack of all trades does somebody work on the internet or something here is somebody into like creative design? This change card is coming out sideways, weekend messages. You could be dealing with a Virgo or some type of discord among friends, but it's going to end up being all right. The number 17, someone may want you to show off your gifts or talent or somebody's asking you to do something for them. Up until the 30th, you could have obligations that you need to meet. Give me... Um, what, who's coming toward, I almost called you Virgo, Taurus. Who's coming towards Taurus this weekend? There's a lot of pride and recognition coming in. Taurus, you may be dealing with another Taurus, but you are very much loved. There's something about your soul energy. There's a Celtic knot here. There's a lot of people wanting to travel towards you. See, I feel like this is unpredictable people or situations, so be careful. You could be dealing with an Aquarius and Aries, or somebody's very, like, guarded over you, or somebody's very possessive over you. 666 is in your reading. Warnings of negative thinking, but there's something you do about decoration or drawing or outside work that's very um, interesting, that's very healing, that people want to see. Give me work energy. What's coming in for work? Um, you're very grounded energy, Taurus. What's coming in for work? There's lessons in unpredictable hate, um, behavior or hate coming in. What does Taurus need to know about work at this time? Give me evolution of the soul. So I'm going to use mold divide here, Taurus, and let's get into it. What are the evolution of the soul messages, spirit, for Taurus placements, please? This rock bottom card wants to come out. So you're overcoming something. Um, I'm getting that song. Um, you've been through the hardest times. They're over with. You could be dealing with people and their egos this weekend. You are a deep, um, emotional, intuitive, but it's like you can hold it all in. You hold it together. It's like you have the answers of life. If you feel like you're failing your mission here, you're not. Things are just trying to align. It's like you're, you're trying to cover your pineal gland or your ears. Of course, you're not living to your full potential. You need to put yourself out there more, or I feel like you feel like the mission feels impossible. Like, how can you get through this? But it's coming all in perfect timing. You're balancing out situations in life. Um, you, you do, you do work hard, but your mental is really strong, Taurus. Yes, taking responsibility and ownership for your life. Not everybody else is. That's not your problem. Red or blue could be a significant color for you to wear this week or power color for you to wear this weekend up until Tuesday. You're going to be hustling. It is lonely at the top, Taurus. I feel like you do, um, you do a lot here. You attract money, but it's like there's something unclear when it comes to your money. It's like you're manifesting in sadness or there's some type of unwanted change. Give me money here. What should Taurus expect? You're still manifesting it. See, it's like you're not, you are so emotional. It's like you know what you want. You just, there's some type of blockage here. You need to be in a more playful energy, high vibe energy. You're tired of people playing with your emotions. Um, you are meant to fulfill this divine contract 444 with money. You're going to get there. There's something about healing. There's something that you're doing with healing right now. You could be dealing with a Libra. There's somebody coming in. It's like, 
this could be a feminine energy that overindulges around you or um somebody really does like your style there's a lot of people that try to copy your style what is, what is what should taurus know at this time see you're putting friendships in the reverse because you're in a growing period right now you might kick it with like one or two people taurus what does the person on taurus's mind want to say spirit weekend messages this person could have been a liar but they're admitting defeat it's like see they've been bullied and they went the wrong way they thought they was a leader aries energy the king of wands in reverse so they're in like a distorted masculine energy they may have what do they want to say they may have like said some shit to you and now they have to backtrack hold on give me taurus energy who's coming in for taurus what does this person want to say they want to celebrate with you they want to reconcile with you throat chakra and third eye chakra are here they could be a cancer and aries or they could have these placements aquarius they're looking for balance in their life they could be i'm um, trying to balance out their money over the next four days there's like up and up and down planning or something here they could be trying to work out their money situation as well they feel breadcrumbed by you or you they bit the hand somebody somebody thought they was going to be master when they when they went the other way but it's like they're they are living in some kind of misery or something the queen of wands is here these don't even belong in this deck okay hold up taurus the queen of wands you're showing up as that like very playful over the next day you're going to be completing something give me um what's new love for Taurus you have a king of pentacles coming in this could be an unreliable person um, you also have a knight of cups coming in see these are emotional people if you're feminine you're dealing with like immature masculines um, what should um, Taurus be working on at this time if you are a masculine you are probably trying to get your um, third eye or emotions together or trying to work on your feminine um, parts like you're trying to work on creativity you're trying to work on manifesting and magic um Taurus right now you should be working on manifesting you could have an s and m a c a k um there's something you do with your hands that's very creative um root chakra is here it's going to be long lasting you also have the king of cups here when it comes to what you should be working on it's your emotional your inside um calming down you may um suffer from anxiety drinking more tea with mint in it um the number 14 is calming cooling um give me more for what taurus should be working on at this time it's like you should be working on your pineal justice is coming in the hierophant card is here that's also um spiritual elders or spiritual advisors you're meant to do something like that something is very healing elderberry is here you may want to try some elderberry i do not give medical advice except on a personal level let's see here your um oracle cards for animal oracle spirit deck you have otter. So otter, they really do pamper and take care of their children. Otter is a water animal as well. Um, you could need a meaningful project or finishing a project here. Let's get more scorpion energy. Scorpion energy is like very intuitive. But they tunnel themselves in and they burrow themselves into where the true magic can't happen. Higher perspective, going outside, knowing that something is happening for the highest good. Um, hawk energy is also ancestral. So your ancestors are around you. You're meant to do something. Scorpion energy is fire energy. So that energy moves in days. So if something over the next four to eight days is coming in, you'll be gaining ooh, some type of knowledge or download here. You also have sacral chakra the orange here is about creativity affirmations for acceptance it's like you're believing in something you're accepting who you are and you're taking off you're letting like fate wrap shit up like really prosperity and abundance is for you it's coming in the next two months is what i'm hearing that black cat is very psychic energy somebody is like um what you do is magic or witching or something or there's something you know about um destiny or chakras here let's look at the bottom of the deck and you have affirmation for growth. Something you do is going to be prosperous and it's going to grow. Thanks, Taurus.